It's the air horn, you bitch. Uh, yeah, it's just stop. Uh, hello, and work. Oh, I'm gonna turn the fan oh. off because that was on the whole time last time. Oh, was it? Is it is yeah. It? I'd yeah, like to start with an apology because yeah. last time the fucking fan was on. I had to dull the volume a little bit uh, on an audio podcast. <laughs> Make things even more obscure. <laughs> no, it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's your advice list for the next one. Yeah, the, <laughs> in five episodes' time, I'll just list all the shit I've just <laughs> fucked up in yeah. the last five episodes. Hello and welcome to the Earhorn Podcast, episode 20. Fuck, we, met, we, 20. we made it to 20. We made it to 20. We didn't die. Well... The first co-host died, but <laughs> yeah. don't know about that. Yes, yeah, there's a reason Connor's not been on for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> um, uh, I'm Alfie. I'm Alex. Good week. No, 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 no shit week. good week. Yeah, let's no, not even get into it. <laughs> Sometimes though, weeks seem worse when you're looking forward to something because your birthday tomorrow. Mm. So that might have made it seem even worse than what it was. I'm not looking forward to my birthday anymore. Why? <laughs> just, I'm just not. I just, there's nothing. There's nothing. It's got nothing for me. <laughs> is it because you're doing something and it's like? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's. I think it's just like yeah. This is like, but it's just like. I don't know what I'd want to do to make it good, but I, <laughs> but <laughs> but then I'm just doing stuff anyway. Yeah. Like the stuff, I don't know. I think the best thing to do on your birthday. I did it last year. It's just chill out all day. Mm, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, just I just um, I got Mad Max. Uh, I, I played Mad Max like all day. Yeah, I did play poker that night and it all went to shit. But the daytime was very good. Yeah, because it just chilled out. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I ate crisps and drank some like Diet Coke all day. Mm. It was nice. Literally. It's a good day, man. Yeah, that sounds quite nice actually. Uh, but yeah, I've had a pretty uneventful week just walking and good stuff. week though. Good walk. Yeah, that was good right. week. Good yeah. week walk. Pretty indifferent. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's alright. <laughs> we're, we're a fucking <laughs> bag of fun today, aren't we? I took an extra caffeine pill today because yeah. I knew I'd done a big walk. <laughs> and uh, it's done fuck all. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'd be like if I didn't take that pill. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'd be dead. Um, I don't know what to start on today. I've got no advice this week. Ooh. I know. Ooh. I've run out of shit I'm knowledgeable on. Because I'm really knowledgeable on getting jobs and... Yeah. What was the first, What was the other one? Oh, yeah, getting dates. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, let's just start. Uh, for the listeners, I've basically just got a page of just shit I've written all day mm. to talk about. And um, it's just hard to start. Uh, Fallout mods. They've come to Xbox. Oh, but not and PlayStation. PlayStation kit. Not PlayStation. They're on PlayStation next month. Okay, I've yeah. seen the, the how you access them. I like how they've got it on the main menu where you can just go on it, click on what you want, and then yeah, like, and like they all look really good. Mm. And it's not like there's six mods you can choose from. There's like a fucking lot of mods. Do you know mm. what I mean? And I think you might be able to make mods on console. I think you're right. Yeah, but I'm not sure. There might be some things you can change and stuff. There's it, you obviously can't design stuff. Yeah, like add new swords and shit. Yeah, yeah. Or that's no, not swords. It's not fucking Skyrim. <laughs> Like add new guns and stuff, but I don't know. You might be able to change physics in the game. I, I don't know, but uh, they look good, mm. and uh, I can't fucking wait. I yeah, because I was looking at some of them. Were just like like it's just little things as well that I'd I'd like. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, yeah, it's just like little things that um, just make the game more immersive. Like even if it's just making a new armor or something, or just like it's like just texture packs. Or yeah, something. exactly. There's a like there's different. Like there's something that cleans up the wasteland, mm. or there's one that makes it look even worse, or there's one that makes it look like grassland. Yeah, I like the like grassland one. We're there's one that week. changes the skins for the bubble heads, stuff like that. So they're all wearing different clothes and they're all different colours. But stuff. it's like one of those things that's like, like what I like about games is when you can make your own character how look how you want them to look, and it's like doing that but with the entire game. Exactly. Like I could look at my game playing and stuff. I could go around yours. Could be a completely different game. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just makes it cooler, man. Yeah. And it yeah. makes, like, you know, you could download a quest line. That would do you know be, what I mean? yeah. Can you actually do that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, people can do that if they want. That would be cool. And, uh, but there's a two gig maximum. Oh, So right. you could either have one huge mod oh, that's okay. two gigs, or, oh, like, right. 16 little mods that yeah. are, like, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, 
They look, it looks really fucking good. Mm. I'm excited. Yeah, really I'm, excited. I'm excited. Now that I'm back into it as well, so like my little thing is that I've actually got into it. Yeah, I've survival. Actually, and it's banging. At the moment, I'm stuck in a fucking rail tunnel. And I'm about to die. I'm so tired, <laughs> so hungry, and I'm so ill. But my and my guy literally can carry like three things, and I'm over over encumbered, so I'm all, constantly getting hurt. And like he's just there in this fucking tunnel. Fucking amateur like, man. I know he just doesn't know how to. He doesn't know how to get out now because he's got no. Because he got. Because he can't carry anything. <laughs> he's just stuck in this sleeping bag trying to sleep through his exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> around all these dead ghouls. You can't get unexhausted with sleeping bags. No, I've, I'm yeah. finding that out. I've, I've tried for hours. <laughs> That's not good, man. <laughs> but I mean, like, how do how do I find a bed to sleep in that's better than a sleeping bag? You just got a fireplace. Simple as. Because I'm in, I'm in Cambridge Police Station. There's like nowhere near there that's got a bed. There is. Oh yeah. Red Rocket. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Just fuck off back to Sanctuary. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's you know there's beds dotted all around. Every now and again you'll find like a trader in mm. the wilderness and they'll have like a proper bed and you just kill them and sleep in their bed. It's, or that's like the a thing. settlement or go, get to a settlement that's the thing though it's, it's made me like think because there was so it got to a point where I just got out of basically Red Rocket and, I, and you know when you can go right and there's a house that's, there's always something different there yeah yeah, yeah. there was a, a doctor and a settler there and I was and I was like I was new so I was like oh I haven't got that much stuff if I kill her I've got all she had all this stuff I checked her inventory she had all this stuff I was like oh, if I kill her I've got all this but then I was like no no I'm not there yet I'm not that desperate yet and I walked away and then I got really ill so it was nice to come back and get that girl. whereas if I'd killed her I wouldn't have had that <laughs> so I was like that was good actually it's good that I didn't murder her oh, yeah. Doctors are like fucking resources mm. now because they all have fucking antibiotics. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Uh, you find like free antibiotics on the Pridwin, by the way. Ooh. So keep that in mind. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fucking Christmas <laughs> come early. Yeah, it's like they're, they're fucking gold dust. Uh, but yeah, survival, man. It's good. It, it makes you just appreciate more shit. It I makes think, you get think, into the game. I a lot think more. it should be the original game. I c- yeah, I can see that. It was yeah. it was just too easy for me to get excited about it when I first started. It. Even mm. even with like um. What do you call it? Um, yeah, like even on like difficult mode, it's just the fact that you can shoot someone so many times and they don't die, and it's just like yeah. it, it's just it's that thing that it breaks immersion. Yeah. Whereas with this, like I, I got like there's to own it. There's only so many times you can shoot, shoot someone in the face. Yeah, exactly. I like at this point in the real world, their face would be more bullet than face. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? And I got to this point where, um, so you know, when you go to that uh, training station, there's two people out there trying to rob her, and. You know, no. Or with the guy that's addicted to chems, her son's addicted to chems, and then she's like, Trudy. "Oh yeah, Trudy, yeah, yeah." yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, was it? like, I got there, I and I was like, "I was like, I, 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 did you?" I was like thinking I was all hard and that, and I was like, went up to the people, and then one of the first things is like. Um, why don't we settle this peacefully? And, um, and the first thing they did was like, got the gun out and shot me in the face, and I died straight away. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, that's actually what would happen. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll kill Trudy because he has chems. Fair enough. Yeah, so he has like stim packs and stuff. Uh, okay, I, I killed the I killed the two people because I thought, oh well, Trudy's like somewhere I can buy stuff like basic supplies and that. Mm. From. But yeah, it's fucking good. Good survival. And it's made me want to play other games hardcore. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to play Dark Souls now. Okay. I've never had like the urge to play Dark Souls mm. or like Bloodborne or something like that. Yeah. Because I know it's just too hard. Yeah. But now I play like Fallout and Survival. It makes you think that way, like think about everything you do, and you're not just like there for the story. Do you yeah, know what I mean? yeah, yeah. It's made me kind of crave harder games. Like I want to play Doom on fucking hard mode. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Have and you got the new Doom? Actually, get through it. No, I haven't got it. Okay. Are you gonna get it? Probably eventually. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But no rush, I guess. No, there'll probably be uh, some like game of the year edition. Yeah. Some DLCs and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. I'll get that. Yeah. You heard about Destiny? No. Apparently, they're re-releasing Destiny. Because they're bringing out a Destiny 2, which is basically a DLC so big that it's basically an, a second game. Okay. And uh, it's like full price game as well. Right, right. Wow. So uh, apparently they're going to release that as a game with the whole of Destiny that's out now on it as well. Okay. And then apparently after that you won't have to pay for DLCs. Okay. For like a year. Yeah. So I might get that yeah. when it comes out, which is it's coming out next year. Okay, because yeah, because I won't mind getting back into Destiny again. Because Destiny was so fun. It was. It, like, I really enjoyed it. But for like a few months, and then the DLC started coming out that I didn't want to fucking pay for. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to pay forty quid twice, and then another foot like or like twenty pound twice, and then and then forty pound. Mm. I'm not going to pay all that shit. Yeah, you know, it was it's, expensive. It's one game, and it already cost me like a hundred pound. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So. um 
Yeah, I might do that. Because yeah. it's a fun ass fucking game. It is man. a lot of fun. And yeah. the thing is also now is that like the reason that I don't pick it up and play it now is because I think I'm gonna go on it and be like, Well, I can't do anything because I haven't got all the DLCs. The DLCs completely lock the game. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Bullshit. It's actually like really yeah. bad. It's, it's like awful that you can pay for a game and then not be able to play it because you're not ahead. I know, I know, just because you didn't pay an extra sixty fucking Yeah, down. it's like it's literally It's extension. like, oh no, you can't do weeklies now. Yeah. Because it's all DLC stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, go fuck yourself, Bungie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's bullshit. It's just like the, the EA mechanic. Yeah, it's you know like, what I mean. They like... give they give you a slice of a game and then release you the rest of the game mm. later in the year, mm. and then make you pay for it. Whereas like um, project, uh, CD Project Red, oh, people yeah. who made Witcher, oh yeah, they released like the game, which mm. is like five hundred hours worth of game. Yeah, and then they give you a DLC that's six pound, that's a further hundred odd hours. That's insane. Have you and, played uh, the DLC? No, I haven't. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm starting to play it again. That's one of my reviews. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, let's just get. Let's just get to that then. Yeah. Which is a good fucking game. I'm really excited to play. I've, I've still got. I, you I'm haven't played it? No, no, no. Shit, man. Play it. Yeah, I want to, but it's like I want to finish my, the rest of my games because that's the game that I, I was looking forward to most last year. It's a long game. It, it will yeah. eat your time. Well, if I can't fucking complete Mad Max in like, <laughs> like I've been on it for like a couple months now. Yeah, I, you're fucked, man. I've been I've been so bad with completing games recently. Like, I haven't played completely Fallout because I've started it again. I, I'm <laughs> completely dying light because I just don't have time to play it. I haven't done Mad Max because I've, I've played it like for a week and then got like sidetracked on other things really shit yeah the witcher will eat the fuck out of your time <laughs> take a year right? for me to yeah do I've, I've spent like there's so many side quests mm. so many side quests and uh then there's like if you want witcher geared like proper armor mm. eat there's like four schools of witches okay and then they all have a different armor and then really all of them cool. have four upgrades yeah so you can get that armor and then you have to find the diagrams of the armors in the world, and uh, then you have to get them made by a master yeah. blacksmith or armorer. Just getting the armor can take you six days. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's really cool. And uh, and then there's like all that shit, and then apparently um, the DLC is like huge. Yeah, I've, I've heard that. I've heard. Yeah. Like, and they've really got another one coming out. Oh, I bought the DLC like a while ago, back when it was like six pound. Mm. I think it's like a tenner. Okay. Which is good for a DLC. If, if it's as long as you say it is. If like. Destiny's DLC, which is like a day of gameplay, mm. um, was a tenner. I'd be well happy. Yeah. But like, apparently, it's like a full game in, oh, in itself. Man. And that's, uh, really that's the way to do it, man. Yeah, that's like that a, is the way to do it. It's a good business model. Yeah, it's, I mean, like, it's 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 the most dialogue in any game ever. Mm. And uh, it's like just you know, they, they don't like they don't act like it's anything special, but it is. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And then you get like, but Bungie and EA is. I don't like how they do stuff. No, you know I mean? no, they really perverted it. Like EA mostly, because it's like, uh, it's just it just really grinds my gears. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheeses me off. It just piss it just pisses me off. Mm. But yeah, The Witcher is um such an, a huge and full world, Ooh. which is what I've written here, and great dialogue, which it is the the uh, the voice acting is really fucking good. Cool. And there's like something like eighty million thousand pages of dialogue or whatever fucking hell there's not that many yeah yeah there's not 80, <laughs> I, I eight, thought you might have been exaggerating yeah. 80 million thousand <laughs> I don't even know how much that is but I give it 10 horns fuck oh. we, we got there oh, we shit. finally got there oh my god I've given 10 horns before have you but when, that's when I uh, oh we didn't that's when I was horns. doing it ears and yeah. horns yeah uh, I'll just do my next review now. It's an anime. <laughs> since I've been on that Crunchyroll thing, mm. Sword Art Online. I've reviewed it before. Okay. I gave it ten horns. Yeah. Um, but season two, it's fucking cool as dicks. Okay. Right. Cool. Sword Art Online season one. It was in a sword game. I told you about it. It's like if you, they can't log out if they die in the game. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, that one. But in this one, they're in a gun game, and it's really good. And then, like, but the second half of the series is something different. All the characters grow and whatnot. You meet new people and shit. It's just really fucking good. Further ten horns. Oh yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. you're generous this and week. You're and stuck. what? And what? Frying ten <laughs> horns around, man. I enjoy both of them things. Good. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Twenty horns worth of enjoyment. What was that? Right. Right. Oh yeah. I read that it's different from the first series. Yeah. But it's similar enough to like feel like the same thing what did the know. first series get horns wise I gave it 10 horns oh, and 10 ears jeez yeah but ears ain't a thing now don't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> it never happened let's drop it let's drop it <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, they're both really good, man. Witcher and Sword Art Online. Mm. I uh, I highly recommend the both of them. Cool. In other news, mm. Mary Poppins Returns oh. to be released in 2018. Oh. Uh, Emma Blunt has been cast as Mary Poppins. Oh. I like Emma Blunt, but, but yeah, she should be. You know, it's probably going to be a right film. Yeah, but I won't. I won't watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. But uh, you'll still give it to anyone. <laughs> that's just Disney's thing now. For some reason, they're just like all their really successful uh, animations. They're turning into live action films. <laughs> like fucking all of them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They'll do good in the. You pictures. know what they should do? What Jungle Book live action? I don't even think they're thought about yeah. that. <laughs> they should get on that, man. You know what they should do as well. Do three more after it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. Just fuck it. <laughs> rinse the shit out yeah, of it. Yeah, rinse it, man. Make a... And then make, like, a spin-off about a character no one cares about. <laughs> They're not actually doing oh, that. Oh, I was going to say, is that, re- is that reference? They're probably going to do yeah, that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They'll make a Baloo film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you about Spider-Man 4? Tobey Maguire, right? Like, the original Spider-Man. Mm. They was going to make a fourth one. Oh, yeah. Guess who the fucking baddies were going to be? Oh, it was going to be really good. Mysterio and Vulture. That would have been really. That good. would have been incredible. They've got uh, they had storyboards of it and everything. Oh, right? Mysterio would have been so yep. good. Yep. And uh, Toby Maguire was like full, like they had an interview about it. Like mm. he was fully, like was ready to film it and everything. Yeah. Like talking about how excited him and the crew were. Oh man, that would and have then been it got cancelled. So canceled. good. I think, but I think, I think doing two villains is especially when it's Mysterio and Vulture because they're not really related apart from Sinister Six. Six. Mm. I think putting two villains in one film like it was with Sandman and Venom it's like it's too convoluted it's just too easy to get like confused well it's between. Sandman Venom and um, and oh, was oh uh, yeah the Green Goblin yeah. like the new Hobgoblin. Goblin like, no because it wasn't Hobgoblin was yeah, it, I, think it, like, I think it was actually called New Goblin or, oh, right. or, like, I think it was just the new Green Goblin I don't know <laughs> what, what, what's just my name going to be guy on a new... fucking Harry Osborn that's yeah, yeah. Harry Osborn what, what should my superhero bit of superhero villain name be New Green Goblin <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> fucking. I'll be called James Franco. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus, I forget that James Franco was fucking. Harry yeah, it's Osborne. really weird, isn't it? <laughs> how, like how weird he's become. Uh, Wolverine Free. It's it's the film podcast, by the way. Okay. The movie podcast. Mm. Uh, it's it's all films from here on. I think some TV, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all mash it. Uh, Wolverine Free. It's being filmed. Should be good. It's been said to be. It's going to be like a western. Oh and, uh, yeah. There's been pictures of Hugh Jackman on the set, and he's got a big bushy beard. Yeah, and it's like got grey streaks in it. So I think he's getting old. I think it's uh, like Wolverine when he's a bit older. Ooh. Yeah. So he's getting older. Mm. Uh oh yeah. I'll do a little review of X Men Apocalypse. Ah uh, yeah. I'm not going to rate it because okay. I don't think it deserves a rating. <laughs> uh, it's dog shit. Oh, is that, but, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, That's okay. The thing like the story and script and just general setting of the film were terrible. Mm. Just, just terrible. Just Brian Singer, what did you do? What did you do? Why He's the director? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, just ah, oh, just I could. Why, bro? Everything about it. Why, bro? Why, bro? And, uh... But, like, it was really cool. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it's you, just... But that's, like, the fanboy in me. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And it's Seeing all the characters and yeah. stuff. And, and it's like, all the superpowers and stuff like that. It's still cool, but... Sophie it, Turner really annoyed me. Is, who's that? Is that Sansa? That's Sansa. Okay. Jean Grey. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think she works as anything but Sansa. Mm. I don't know, though. You know, her fake American accent really annoyed me. <laughs> coolest there was a really cool scene with Quicksilver okay they had a similar thing you know in the in the last one when he ran around the room and did yeah. the thing uh, yeah there's a similar scene to that okay and that, that was really okay, that was a good scene mm. um, yeah do you know what I mean I, like some people said that Apocalypse was like a shitty character mm. I really enjoyed him okay I mean I didn't but like I get what they were doing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a weird film to talk about. Okay. Because during, I was talking, like, Connor was there, I was like, I whispered, like, I leant over halfway through the film, I was like, Sweet nothing. This is shit. <laughs> and he was like, I know, but it's so good. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
and uh, it was it's a good film to take the piss out of. Do yeah. You know what I mean? Oh my god, the dialogue is so cheesy. Is it, is it right? Okay. Right. There's a bit. This might be spoilery, but it's X Men Apocalypse. Who gives a shit? It's not a good film. So there's a bit where um, <laughs> Professor X, uh, bald James, he ain't bald yet. Oh, so he uh, he's in the what's it called again? Cerebro. Cerebro, and he's looking for what's going on, right? Because boop, 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 yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's Bluetooth in Apocalypse, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and uh, so that really Apocalypse ringtone. is like. I can feel it. I can feel his mind and all that, right? <laughs> and um, then he kind of latches onto him because Apocalypse is really strong, okay. right? And Apocalypse starts using Cerebro from across the world oh, right. and looking for really strong mutants, cool. right? Cool. And um, Professor X is like, he's so strong. But fucking Hank McCoy, yeah. Beast, yeah. right? But he's taking mid, so, so he, he isn't Beast. Yeah. He's Hank McCoy. And uh, he's... <laughs> 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 he goes... <laughs> he says like something along the lines of like oh my god he's he's latched on blah, blah. and then someone says why and he goes he turns around the camera zooms right on his face goes to connect <laughs> and then it's like dun, 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 the music goes man it's like what <laughs> what like, does that what? mean yeah exactly <laughs> I, was, I said to Connor like what am I supposed to do with that information what's he connecting to <laughs> to connect <laughs> and uh full bars he has like <laughs> Ten lines like that in the film, <laughs> and four of them are right back to back, <laughs> like in the final fight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> He's going bigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is apocalyptic. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's your name? Hank. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, there's a. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, and I said this to you the other day because they've um. They're in a different dimension now because of the whole time thing that happened in the last Oh, film. yeah, yeah, that's still confusing. It's, right? uh, they've changed some stuff. Okay. Uh, Wolverine's in the film a little bit. It's in the trailer, it's not a spoiler. Mm. They changed some stuff to do with Wolverine. They changed a few things um, because they're allowed to now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. It, it's a very clever thing that they've done, writing-wise, because they haven't written themselves into a corner. Mm. And uh, they can just fucking do whatever they want now. And they can bring whatever films out they want to bring out. Yeah, yeah. And I'm alright with it as long as fucking Brian Singer leaves them the fucking yeah. line now, man. Give them to someone else. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I actually, funnily enough, I read something interesting today. Not about um, X-Men, but about uh, Rogue One. And apparently they've got four extra weeks of filming during summer because it was too dark. Oh shit, that was my next point. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> nice. Yeah, it was, a, it was too much like a war film, yeah. the executive said. Which I don't think is a bad thing. No, it's but, nice uh, to have a bit of difference. Like, cause it's, you don't want just one generic theme. It's nice to change up a bit. Yeah, but it, it was... Uh, people are like really worried about it now. Like, oh, it's going to be shit because there's reshoots. Mm. There's reshoots to make it better. Yeah. That makes no sense. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's like complaining about like that you're going to get ill because you have to go to the hospital. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I get, I get where you go with that. No, you get it. You get it. I get the direct direction you go with. <laughs> Apparently, it's like a full-on prequel as well to A New Hope. Nice. Apparently, this film ends like ten minutes before A New Hope starts. That's really cool. So uh, that's exciting. It looks good though. And speaking of talking of Star Wars, the Han Solo spin-off mm. is to start filming in January 2017. Mm. Which is good. I don't know when it takes place. Maybe before... Just think after the last Star Wars film. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm just thinking. Oh, yeah, between <laughs> seven and eight. Yeah. It's him just waiting at heaven's door. Yeah. <laughs> or, or no, it's him falling. Yeah. It's, so it's, just, like, it's, it's, it's him falling through minute. the planet it's, it's a for, minute. Like, uh, for like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. just, try, just eventually get into the core yeah. and burn into a crisp. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's the plot of the film. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when it would take place. Probably bef- after the original ones and before the new ones, maybe. Do you think? I don't know. It could be before all of them. Yeah. Maybe it's uh, him and Greedo. Like a sitcom. Where they, <laughs> live, where they live together. <laughs> and Chewie's their dog. <laughs> <laughs> they go to the pet shop. 
<laughs> there's loads of puppies and then there's just Chewie standing there <laughs> next to all the actual dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they pick a different one and um, Chewie kills it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, there's just like so many things about films here, man. I think I'm nearly done already, you know that. Really? Yeah. I did not do a lot of research, apparently. Uh, oh, yeah. Today, right, on the radio, mm. I heard this from my dad. Uh, they were talking about James Bond, right? Because it's no secret that Daniel Craig just don't want to fucking do it anymore. Yeah, he fucking hates that. Because he literally can't play another part when yeah. he's fucking James Bond. Um, and people are like... The people on the radio, they just want to incite arguments right. and controversial shit. So yeah. they say, like... Oh, could a woman play James Bond? Well, no, because his name is James. Yeah. And that's a man's name. Yeah. And it's a male character. Yeah. People were phoning up like, yeah, a woman could play James Bond. We need more... This is a woman talking. Yeah. We need like more interesting characters, blah, blah, blah. It's like, what are you talking about? But I think the thing about James Bond is he's supposed to be like quite misogynistic and quite like a man. That's the whole thing. Yeah. He's like a dick. Yeah, yeah. Just use and abuse his women, but it's cool for that, and it's like you know, it's like your guilty pleasure. Like you know, it's not all like maybe how things should be, but it's like it is what it yeah, is. It's a character. Like, there's characters have character sheets, and it says mm. everything they should be. Right, James Bond is a white male English. He's a spy. Yeah, right? that's like the, the bare basics. That, bare basics. That defines his you whole character. You read the books. That's what they tell you. Mm. Right. Like, uh, I remember there was this, like, big controversy when, um, oh, what was it? Like, Sony's character sheet for Peter Parker leaked, right? Leaked. Mm. Like, no one's read a comic. Yeah. Um, it said, white male, uh, straight, and, like, a, like has an aunt, what, you know, whatever. Mm. And people were, like, really pissed off that he couldn't be gay, he couldn't be a woman, and he couldn't be black. It's Peter Parker. Yeah, yeah. That's the fucking... That's the character. And it's not like you're making a new character. You're basing it on existing literature. So it's like... There's... You're basing it on countless comics. Yeah, yeah. Of that character. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And the whole point... The only reason people are going to go and see that is because they think, oh, I want to see a Spider-Man film. Because Sp- and, and, if, and if he's like if he's like a black gay woman, it's like, well, that's not Spider-Man. That's like... like oh, that's that's not... a completely different character. Yeah. It, like, it might be called Spider-Man, but it's like it's not the same character. Exactly. But... Uh... You know, in the comics, there's a there's a new Spider-Man because Peter Parker died. Yeah, and he's black, and he's black, and he's like I think he's like 14, and he's really like clever and shit, mm. and uh, like he's got slightly different powers because he 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 uh, you know he just takes up the role. Yeah, that's fair enough. And, right? uh, if they... He has a different name. I can't remember his name. Wayne. Wayne. Oh, oh Wayne. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> Spider Bruce. Yeah. Spider Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But yeah, that just really annoys me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What if they brought out another fucking Hunger Games film and it was a guy playing Katniss <laughs> Everdeen? Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's really fucks me off. Mm. How people just, For one, it's the radio people because it's like... Yeah, just insane hatred. Yeah, it's just like provoking people to mm. idiots to phone them up and be like, who the fuck would listen to it and go like, yeah, James Bond could be a woman. <laughs> Yeah. No, he can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> this is James Bond. Hello, I'm a woman. <laughs> it makes no sense. No. Do you know what I mean? They couldn't be called James Bond. Uh, anyway, I've been thinking about that all day. I can tell you vinegar about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just like I'm just confused more than anything because no, it it makes no sense to me. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. On a different topic. Please, uh, I watched Kung Fu Panda one and two the other day. Oh yeah, they're good fucking films. I like, I've seen the first one. I like it. I like yeah, I've seen the second one. I don't think so. It's a good film, man. They're like consistently good. I watched the third one as well. I've got it on my computer. Well, what's the second one? What happens in the second one? Uh, some like Peacock, right? I'm not making this up. <laughs> I could have easily just yeah. made shit up then. Uh, he, ugh. It's basically Poe's origin story. Oh, uh, right, okay. And how, like, the peacock... Oh, he went to, like, a seer, and she said that a warrior of black and white will defeat you. So he got all the pandas killed. Oh, ooh, yeah. that's dark. Yeah. 
So, uh, and then Poe realizes that his dad, the peacock, is on it. <laughs> 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 He's the uh, he's like the only one left and stuff, and he mm. like defeats him and stuff. And then the third one is about the fact that they're they're not all dead, and oh, Poe right, finds okay. a, a bunch of a bunch of other things. He finds he's dead. Is he fuck him as well? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Voiced by Brian Cranston. Oh, he's dead. Really? Yeah, it's a decent. It's a does really he, good does film. Does he die like within five minutes of being <laughs> on screen? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah, Godzilla shows up as well. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy from Kickass is there. <laughs> That's it. He was in. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Don't this worry is about wasted, it, man. Wasted, fucking ruin that. <laughs> that was like top-notch <laughs> comedy. Wasted. But yeah, they're good films, man. Okay. And uh, I think DreamWorks do good shit. They well, if they want to sponsor us. Uh, well, they made Shrek. Which are good. I like Shrek, Shrek one and two were good. Yeah. And then I didn't watch the film. They made three more. <laughs> and like a couple of Christmas specials. And the donkey one, donkey and the dragon. Oh yeah, yeah. They Just made one of them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking Paris Hilton style yeah. like, sex tape with like night cam on. Yeah. <laughs> it starts off with like donkey like turning the camera on. Any <laughs> <laughs> <Eddie> Murphy just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Um, how does that work? Like they had kids. How? Oh, if it, oh what if it's like artificial oh, insemination? Donkeys have really. And big that dicks. was the film. <laughs> But them just like going to a clinic and like donkey just, <laughs> just, just into, into a, a giant cup. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where that came from, man. Hey, can you tell know. me? It can came you tell from me a dark me, place. Can you tell me more about that, how that film went out? <laughs> can you just show me the rest of that script? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dreamworks, if you want a director for that, yeah. for that sex tape. If you, want, if you want a director and a writer for and, uh, the, and a, the Donkey and Dragon spin off sex and tape. And a body model. <laughs> yeah, I'll play Dragon. Get it to No, I want to play the Doctor. <laughs> that tells them that Dragon's actually barren. And they have to get that. and have to use a different dragon egg. We could make this. We could. <laughs> Let's just get a few hundred animators. On it. Yeah, we've got we'll one. We've got Connor. Get puppets. Just get oh, pu- Connor's dead. I forgot <laughs> from the start of the podcast. We just get puppets, like really shit puppets, and they just have mouth bits. And puppets. Do this. That's a great idea. We just need the donkey, the Suit. doctor, and the- face paint. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a bit it's getting <laughs> lower and yeah. lower budget. Let's just if you just cut my head open, we just face paint. <laughs> Just get signs, right? And we'll just like <laughs> write the character's name Post on our notes. heads. Or every time we're in a room, I'm like, "Hello, dragon." <laughs> so they, it's just us, all right? <laughs> You're involved now. Um, I'm the doctor. Your donkey, and uh, you're also dragon. <laughs> You have to play two parts. Oh, right. said the dragon. <laughs> I'm Aaron. <laughs> it's just you <laughs> reading the script of the <laughs> yeah. That's why I always said donkey. Read the yeah. fan fiction. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fan fiction. Fucking <laughs> 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 erotic, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! But yeah, Comfy Plan is really good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh Jesus Christ! Oh my god! <sighs> so Transformers. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> They've announced the next one. Oh, that's still going to be the next one. Yeah. Guess who's the villain? It's it. Megatron. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even let you guess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's called Transformers The Last Night. Knight. Oh, right. Knicket. Knicket. <laughs> and uh, Megatron's a baddie again. And people are really pissed off because there's like loads of Transformers baddies. But Megatron's been the baddie in every single one of them. So, yeah. Rinse it. Rinse it more. Yeah, Michael Bay, man, he's a plague. 
<laughs> <A> plague <laughs> of the film a plague industry. Of films. <laughs> Seriously, he, he did a Taken three, and there's one scene where. Liam Neeson jumps over a fence. Is it like six cuts? 17 cuts. (laughs) (laughs) Of him jumping over a fence. (laughs) Running into a garden, jumping over a fence. 17 cuts. That's disgusting. It's uh, or seven. I don't know. I might be adding the teen. A lot. Too many cuts. You don't need any cuts. Maybe maybe one. Like on one side of the fence, then the other side of the fence. That's all you need. Just don't have him jumping (laughs) over a fence. It's not that, that, that one jumping over a fence probably cost like a hundred grand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. But yeah, that's. Uh, I won't be watching the new Transformers. <laughs> I was still on the donkey <laughs> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be called Donkey Dragon Sex Day. <laughs> and you've got the name to <laughs> Shrek <it>. 6. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Dragon sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> or Shrek 6, Dragon's Baron. <laughs> Baron Dragon. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Uh, new Star Trek. It's coming out. I don't care about it. <laughs> yeah, it literally says I really don't care about the new Star Trek. I, I, I didn't like the second one. I wasn't actually bothered about the second one. What I was like that? Khan. Yes, Khan. I liked it. I, li- I enjoyed the second I one. don't remember it. Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, actually, that wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah, it was good, man. I'm not you, but I know you mean. Khan! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Says Spock. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the one with the white things, isn't it? Yeah. I. Uh, it's a really bad trailer. It's not, it doesn't make you excited for it. No. It's like, oh. Characters. Boring part of the plot. Mm. Shit joke made by the doctor. <laughs> Teleporting. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shitty CGI. Almost, of almost died. Jumping out of the ship. <laughs> almost died, but didn't, definitely didn't die. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing a rock song. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. You know what I mean, a lot of the time, like directors and writers and stuff have nothing to do with trailers. They just give a bunch mm. of footage to a company that would make it. Shit. That, that makes me sick. Mm. Because then companies ain't good at making trailers. Yes, as we've discussed in depth. <laughs> yeah, in like really. Yeah. I, I don't like trailers, man. And that trailer's extra terrible. Yeah. Um, Alright. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about Star Trek anymore. No. I'm too bored to talk about Star Trek. I'm over it. I'm over you, Star Trek. Just stop. Stop. I don't even think it's J.J. Abrams anymore. Probably not. He'd probably... He's on fucking Star Wars, isn't he? That's his new kick. Um, Harry Potter. Yeah, there's Harry Potter news. Mm. What? Uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the Ooh. play, Ooh. opens in July, and the script is being made into a book Ooh. that opens the that comes out the next day. Oh the shit! The day after it um, is on stage, I might go and see the play. Jeez. Yeah, looks really good, man. Mm. What's so, the What's the vague? It's about their kid, Albus. Oh right, okay. Yeah. And uh, is he cursed? I think he might be, <laughs> judging by the name of the yeah. play. I haven't read the fucking plot, but uh, it might. I think it's also about that him trying to live up to his dad. Uh, okay, that could I mean? be interesting. Because yeah. Harry, Harry and Ginny are in it as well. Okay, and uh, the actors look pretty good. Mm. They just look like dishevelled. It's like right after the films. Oh, okay, I think. you know, like when they're nineteen Dropping years off. on. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like his first year. at Hogwarts mm, and like everyone cool. like going like oh my god that's Harry Potter's kid yeah, yeah. and he's really shit he just can't do much magic <laughs> yeah exactly because Harry's not that good at magic really is he he's just he's just got no like... yeah he's just got that scar <coughs> I think it would have been cool if the scar went once Voldemort died mm. no just the same is that, is that, is that so much just saying for? JK <laughs> bro she, lis- she, lis- she yeah. listens to this she's, she's, she's like, one of our followers on SoundCloud she's an avid horny <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that should be good, man. Yeah, the play and the book and yeah. stuff. I'll probably get the book. Yeah, I mean, it's like a good series, isn't it's it? It's the first time I ever said I might watch the play, and I'll probably get the book because mm. I don't watch plays or read. So it's, it's a good day. Yeah, man. Uh, Powerpuff Girls and Teen Titans are getting a crossover next month. Oh, that's gonna be Yay. shit. That's gonna be really gay <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, that's Who fucking gonna be awful. Gives a shit? Both of them things should stop. Both of them things have stopped in the past. 
and then they're for, all back. for a good reason probably by the same fucking guy mm. who like Rogue fucks Fantasia. up the animation yeah. you know what I mean uh, uh, yeah no one gives a shit about that no. for fuck's sake and also the animation styles are so different it's just gonna look shit when you try and cross them together huh because like the animation styles are so different for both of those series if you try and cross them together yeah I know like, well maybe I don't know it's Teen Titans Go exclamation mark so it's different mm. I don't know it ain't like the old one like the Fox Kids one okay um, if, I don't think it was ever on Fox Kids. No, I, th- I think it was on. I, it was on one channel, that, and I remember. I think like Cartoon Network, maybe. I remember watching a couple of episodes and quite enjoying it because it was like, just like a super thing. Yeah. It was all right. I mean, yeah. I, d- I, d- I watched. Yeah, I think I watched it like three times, and I wasn't bored at all. Mm. I was more of the Jackie Chan adventures. Yeah. Totally spies. Fucking Shin Chan. Yeah, Shin Chan was well. Good. Era. Yeah. Was I watched weird. an episode of Shin Chan the other day. You know why? Because I filmed the whole episode on the old camera when oh, yeah. I was like eight, yeah. <laughs> and I watched it while I was yeah. digitising the video. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah. And I, it was when I refer back to it in my head, it's that episode, oh, okay. which is weird. Like when I think about it, mm. it's one where he goes with his granddad into the city and up a building, and then like there's this famous building. It's a uh, two large, two like massive buildings, mm. and um. They go up one and they see a fit bird in the other one because they're both fucking perverts. Yeah, yeah. Shin Chan's exactly like his granddad. Yeah, I think I remember that one. So actually. they go all the way down, all yeah, the way I remember up, that. and then she's in the other yeah. one. Again. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, the only episode, well, one of the episodes I remember is when um, it's like it's quite it's quite weird, like for a kids program. But he goes it's to Japanese man. Yeah, but he goes to he goes to the city and he like it's, he bumps into his teachers by himself for some reason. And she goes like, "Oh no, I'm going to leave you now." Yeah, like, he's just wandering around, by, yeah. on his own. But and then like, his teacher goes to leave him, and he starts crying, going, "Mom, mom, don't leave me!" And he's like, <laughs> I "Really that, yeah. fucked up." Makes a really fucking. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird, man. Like Dragon Ball Z always had like sexual references in it. Mm. I never watched it. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. Everyone went crazy about it. Yeah. I uh, yeah, I don't know what I watched instead. Probably fucking Power Rangers. Power Ranger or banging. Pokemon I think it was like either Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z yeah. and then Digimon came out a little bit after because mm. I didn't really watch Digimon either I watched their films though I watched a couple of Digimon episodes and I, like, it was good but it, it just didn't it couldn't compete with Pokemon it was just on another level I started watching Digimon a little bit late so I had no idea what was going on uh, I was right. like they all had their monsters and they was in a weird world yeah, I was like I don't know what's going the on the way they evolve is weird as well like, I don't get that and it's like I think they evolve in like there's like 10 evolutions or something I don't know. Nah. It was weird. I'm a free evolution kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fancy. Don't fuck about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, they do fucking good films, man. Digimon films. Mm. They're great films. I don't think I've seen the films. They had an origin film, which is really good. Mm. I used to love that film. Um, and they had a film where like there was a Digimon and it was like ha- destroying all the computers in the world. Okay. And like it kept multiplying and it was like impossible to fight hmm. but then like the Digimon combined and made a, a like super Digimon with a sword and they kill it nice the end yeah that was like a two hour film spoiler <laughs> yeah spoiler they win yeah. at the end of a kids film yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh Powerpuff Girls and Teen Titans it's gonna be shit it's gonna be shit it's man. gonna be shit I don't watch either of them so it it does not affect me in any way but, but I just know like things that I used to like are just being stomped on mm. and just shit on yeah it's, it's just unfortunate yeah mucho sad uh, there's, been, there's been some talking about um, saying that because there's lots of death on TV now yeah like Game of Thrones and stuff stuff, stuff like the Game of Thrones and the Game of Thrones yeah uh, yeah the Wire, the yeah, Breaking Bad, they mm. kill off characters. Willy nilly. And um, people are saying that it kind of like, it makes it less special when it happens. Depends. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't agree with it at all. Because, you know, it depends how big the character is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, de- it depends character to character whether the death is a payoff or a tragedy. Yeah. You know, it just it solely depends on the character. Like, Ned it- Stark died. I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. The Hound died. I was like, all right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. And it's also like, because, yeah, I mean, the fact that people died means that, like, 
it just it's just how death is it's just indiscriminate and people die like irrespective of whether you're good or bad or like it does, and it's it's more about like how you build up characters within the series rather than who you're killing off yeah exactly I think mean, if you still got a good character and killed it off people would just be as sad now as they would be back in the day it's um oh shit oh no that might be like really shitty oh well um the what was I saying what was I going to say Game of Thrones kill him yeah, I don't know. I was going to say Saint. I can't remember. <laughs> Jesus. I've only got two more points. Oh, shit. How long have we been going for? I could for? talk about the fact that I don't care about Star Trek, uh, Star Trek again. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've been going for 45 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad yeah. at all. It's long enough, all. Uh, Alice Through the Licking Grass grass <laughs> glass came out. And uh, it was okay, apparently. Alright, uh, have you not seen it? I haven't seen it. Fuck that. I'm not going <laughs> to see that. <laughs> not bitch. <laughs> not fuck bitch. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, like, they win, I guess. Do you know what I mean? The Mad Hat is ill. Yeah. That's what I get from the trailer. Mm. And they win, I gets, suppose. Gets a bit of paracetamol. Maybe, yeah. Cowpole? Yeah. A little bit of cowpole? Lovely, lovely cowpole. I used to love cowpole. Mm, so yeah. sweet and so lovely. So healthy. Kind of, like, <laughs> creepy, man. Yeah. It's like you're talking about Emma Watson again. <laughs> <laughs> You hold Emma Watson and Cowpaw in the <laughs> regard. There's, there's a reason for that. Every time I watch Harry Potter, I just dose up on Cowpaw. <laughs> and drink it like a fucking on ice. Yeah. <laughs> on the rocks. And finally, Ooh. Uh, there's talk, a lot of talk, apparently. Yeah. About um, fight scenes being really bad in films. As in, like, shot bad. Oh, right, okay. You know, in, like... A lot of it was like about Captain America, you know, like in a film where there's a fight scene and it's just like shot, 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 cut, 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 cut. Do you mm. know what I mean? To make it seem more exciting and yeah. more crazy. Yeah. But uh, people are like, it shouldn't be done like that. And I agree, and I think people should learn from Daredevil. Have you watched Daredevil yet? No, not the new series, no. I've seen the original. It was the first series. Nah. What do you mean? Uh, the original film. Oh no, not film. Not yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. Well, in the new series, in both in both series, they have. Um, in fact, I think there's like two or three in the second one, but they have a really long fight scene. Mm. No cuts, That's and it's just cool. them fighting, and it's like choreography and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. you can actually appreciate it. All, yeah, yeah. Which is really good. They're mm. like my favourite bits of both series. Mm. And um, I think more things should do it like that. Do you know what I mean? Just show you like a wide shot of a fight. Yeah. Which is because it's cool. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it actually takes effort. I don't think. I think it's just like lazy if you don't because it's like, oh well, if we cut, we're not going to see properly, and so like. Yeah, I know. It's like you know, you could do anything with like fast cuts and really high-paced music and stuff, and you can make anything seem like really exciting. It's like. Mm. It's like rather than show something exciting, you're saying to the viewer, "You're excited yeah, about this." Yeah, Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. This is intense, maybe. Yeah. But you can't, but you can't tell because you can't see what's going on. Exactly. It's like you just think, like, "Oh, they're fighting." Apparently. Do you know what I mean? Rather than like in things like that, it's like, "Oh shit, they're fighting." Mm. And uh, yeah, that's what. That's what I think about it. But I suppose, like, the only... the only kind of mic, man. Sort yourself out. The only caveat, I'd, or the only thing I'd say against that is that I guess, like, it kind of mirrors if you're in a real fight. Like, everything's going happening so quickly and, like, you don't get a clear view of everything. So, like, I guess by ch- cutting all the time, it's, like, kind of, like, mirrors your experience if you're actually in the fight because you like, you're, looking around and, like, looking everywhere so quickly. Yeah, you know, you're but taking I would argue aspects. that we're not in the fight. Yeah. And we're watching a fair. film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, like, fair enough if it was like... I mean, fair enough sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it is an effective way to show how intense it is. But it doesn't give the excuse to be lazy with the actual fight itself. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they've been doing it for years and stuff. And uh, it goes back to, like, kung fu films with, like, Bruce Lee and everything. Mm. They used to have, like, really good choreography and stuff. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, like, they'd spend days and days on these, like, wicked fight scenes. Yeah, And it pays off because in the end you're like, oh, fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? It's intense. But uh, yeah, now it's la- it, yeah, it's just lazy. It's just uh, it just seems lazy. Do you mm. know what I mean? I'm not saying like it ain't hard yeah. to keep cutting and stuff. Yeah, and, like, yeah. It still takes effort, but it's just it just seems lazier mm. and it's less uh, organic feeling. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. It's like, it's very like you're watching a film. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I get That's it, man. That's all I've got. Mm. That's all I've got. It's a good chat, though. Yeah. Come with some stuff. That's like f- fucking four hours of planning <laughs> shit, man. Just read it. Yeah. I get all my stuff off of Reddit. Um, yeah, that's it, dude. Got anything else to add? Nah. No, I don't think I have. I'm trying to think. There's not. I haven't done anything worth noting. No, no. stories. No. Maybe Be- next week. All right. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so. Uh, right. I'm not going to say our names now and then later. Okay. I'm just going to go straight into the end, right? Nice. Because I always do that. Mm-hmm. I always say, like, I'm Alfie, you're Alex, blah, blah, blah. and then at the end I say, I'm Alfie. Yeah. They know my name. Well, you know. Except for the new ones. Except, well, I said, we said our name right at the start. So, mm. when we introduce ourselves. True. All right, so to be the first to listen to the next episode, follow at the Earhorn on Twitter. I've got that down now. Uh, if you've got any questions, fuck, I didn't check this time. But it would have come through on my phone. It's cool. Okay. Um, any questions or ideas for uh, things for us to talk about or anything oh yeah um, sorry Tem Arsenal commented mm. on the last episode saying that I didn't have to pay 50 odd pound for Overwatch I could get it for like 30 odd pound I would like to say to that that I'm still not going to get it <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I might in future you know if it goes you know whatever I actually care about it yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah if, if you like that you know 30 whatever. quid if, if 20 quid difference is going to make it for you get on it because I'm not talking about that anymore Alex no. oh, <laughs> oh, oh, right. I was, I was, I was, oh not that that was what you talking about <laughs> I was like what's he talking about 20 pound oh the thing I just brought up <laughs> <laughs> we're not on sync today man. <laughs> uh, so yeah if you've got any questions or whatever 20 pounds <laughs> you got like yeah 30 pounds 20 pounds <laughs> Email the at gmail.com and uh, we will talk about it on the next episode. It's inevitable. Uh, so, I've been Alfie. I've been Alex. And uh, have a good week. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I can't not do it. Does that actually come through on the sound when you, when you kiss? Yeah, man. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> oh. Yeah,